Hi, welcome to Nash Code, and today we are trying to make a good coin in 50 minutes. First, we are generating a markup for HTML. Then we are inserting live server to not refresh the web browser every time we make change. We get the bootstrap CSS. You can also use ordinary CSS, it's it just centering the image in the form. First, the image for Google just compete this on the internet. You can find it anyway, or you can use your local image. After the form with an input, then I'm trying to send. You can search this internet easily how to send anything in Bootstrap. Then I'm giving this image a fixed height and width. then one class on my form and then i use the center to set it after that i'm trying to connect the index js hope it works console with console i can see let me see that it works. Right click and inspect. When you see on the console, you see that the JavaScript is coming in. After that, first we are going to use functions to search for in this case we are using the wikipedia api hence the function called search wiki i will leave the end point where you can you can go on the documentation and see how how the api or can add as many property as you are logged after getting this endpoint we need a response and we are using fetch and if there is no response we need to throw a nailer But if there is a response, we need to return it as the JSON is returned from that endpoint. After searching the Wikipedia API, we need to submit search from our environment. On our form, we need to do event private default to prevent the page to do like when you naturally press enter or submit the page we we refresh and we don't want that with console result 
we await such week which we return the day soon. And if there is that dot query dot search for and uh, let's first log the results and see if there is the result. We need to send from to send the request from our HTML document where on our form we have a class form one. document dot query select form one form send add event listen which is submit and we will send with the submit search function After searching it, we should see ah, there is an error on submit. Looks like our form, our form one in class, there is a point on form one as it is a class we are selecting. The next thing we need is to have the value which is waiting in the input to be able to to be able to have the input value we need a query selector on the class which is search and document query selector to search dot value we'll get whatever we write in our input. Then we need to trim it. Looking at the API, now that we see what the API is returning it's an object with a query and an array with such results. Then to prevent uh, to notify someone if there is what well, something is that is in the variable we see if the result dot query dot search for the dot hit is equal to zero then we are alerting someone that there is no result found But if there is a nela, like there is no network connection, or if there is something bad API, we are going to alert someone who fails to search the data. It is the results section in HTML needed to be empty, but we need to display result there.
result.query.search.foreach where we loop on every result which is in the search array. and we insert adjacent html on on this section what we are going to insert here um you can start like a ring with a, with a h3 with a h3 tag which will be the title then under it there will be like um, i don't know the date of the result and
quick search it will wait like three seconds to retrieve information and if we open it it is at the uh, last something the margin bottom is not talking it's mb slash free not the mb free to, to change the text like text read I think it is finished. It's it's such an easy an easy tutorial to do that everyone, especially beginner, should do it to practice your JavaScript skills. And if you want me to explore more about the API like image you can tell me in the comments